Hello, my name is Omar Rampisad. It's Thursday, May 2nd, 2019 at 3.23 p.m. in Toronto. So um, I tweeted some tweets today. Those are mine, R-O-S-H-I-N-I-911. So I talked about um, satanic infiltration in our system, legal system, police force, government, and so on. So, um, according to what I, I researched, there seemed to be some link between um, the Freemasons and Satanism. Now, I'm not saying all Freemasons are satanic. I'm just saying that, like everything else, infiltration takes place. I don't know much about Freemasons, so I'm not going to talk much about how it works. Um, there's all kinds of connections and all kinds of links, and I'm not into conspiracy theories. I'm more, um, I'm more of a left brain thinker uh, when it comes to uh, making statements. I need proof. But um, there seem to be a lot of um, a lot of links between Satanism, Freemasonry, and um, the. Um, these various symbols that is um, that is um, part of the the um, Masonic um, um, practices. So, um, of course, I, I am sure. I am absolutely positive that uh, ninety ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the people in this world will have absolutely nothing to do with Satanism. So, um, having said that then, um, I'm going to draw a relationship between Satanism and community targeting. Because what community targeting does is it opens up somebody, male, female, it, just, it really doesn't matter what gender you are, to, um, to the whole world. It takes away your privacy. Somebody's constantly looking at you. Everything about your life is being recorded and uh, being made public. You're being harassed anywhere you go. You're being degraded, and here is the key. You're being degraded by the harassment. You're being dehumanized because you have absolutely no privacy. You're being seen sheer and naked by everyone when you're turned out. You're turned out. And this turning out is a satanic practice. The turning out is a satanic practice. Passing you around to make you common is a satanic practice. So um, this whole agenda, this whole, uh, this whole program of flagging someone and uh, outsourcing the monitoring to a number of people so, uh, you know, uh, contractors, subcontractors, sub, 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 subcontractors. These people are all going to be following you around and taking notes and telling lies and harassing you and inciting your anger and um, setting you up and framing you. Keep in mind that the cop who's flagging you is also taking part in the satanic agenda. So when reports are made, you don't have to be telling the truth, you being the, perp, the perpetrator. It doesn't necessarily have to be the truth. It's understood that the information being presented in the reports are just to paint the picture of criminality. It's understood between the person who is submitting the report and the person who is receiving the report. It's a tacit agreement that uh, the information in that report doesn't have to be true. It just have to be um, justifiable in order to get uh, a, um, a mental health warrant to pull somebody out of their home. So, um, you know, what I'm tweeting about are frames, setups, incitement, uh, inciting anger, um, uh, uh, instigating situations. These are the things I tweet about. If you go through my tweets, you'll see a lot of evidence. They're complete with license plate numbers, uh, places that I'm in, um, and uh, trying 
trying to make clear that there is a systemic harassment program being run that that is behind the report that's being made. So it's a made happen situation. It's creating the misinformation in the report. And this is this is a collusion between the cops who's doing it and the people who's submitting the reports. It's a conspiracy in other words. And it's satanic. It's based on Satanism. Because let's face it, if you take a woman um, and you turn her out and you take away her privacy and you go to the workplace and somebody could look at you share using very common technology these days. It doesn't have to be sophisticated technology to see you um, share. Infrared will do it. Um, millimeter wave technology, very commonly um, um, acquired through the net. Uh, it, it doesn't have to be sophisticated technology. However, if you go global with it, then it has to be GPS based, satellite based. So anywhere you go in the world, somebody's looking at you share and uh, take away your privacy completely. That's one way of saying that you're no longer a human being. You're lesser than a human being because, uh, and everybody around you can see you naked. So you're not on the same level as the people around you. So that's a sexual enslavement because that's, that's, um, that's in a sense trafficking. If anybody, everybody could see you share, it's trafficking. And uh, now um, I talked about um, sending signals and pulses between your legs, that's easily done. I've demonstrated it several times. Um, it's not gonna go on right now. I'm not in pain right now. So um, th these, are, these are other covert means of uh, inciting anger. Because if you burn your skin, which I've demonstrated before, where the surface of the skin increases by up to three degrees sometimes when the power is turned up, but the internal temperature short term does not increase. So that's an, a, a clear indication of um, a laser-like weapon being used, a directed energy weapon being used, the pain ray, uh, where the, um, the pain, the, um, the radiation just goes uh, on the surface of the skin, penetrates very, not very deeply, causes burning sensations and pain, the pain ray. And it, it's a handheld device now. So um, very easily done, goes through the wall. It's radiation, goes through the wall. So um, in my case, I get harassed about, um, about having an order to remove and there's a push to remove me. But the backup that's used for that removal is based on frames set up an incitement of anger, inciting my anger by the use of laser-like technology to burn your skin. I mean, if somebody were to put a lit cigarette on your skin, will it get you angry for no reason? Will you maybe swear? It's a normal human reaction. That is not mental illness not mental illness. So, um, you know, this, this is torture. This is torture. So again, right back to Satanism. Satanism is all about torture. It's about um, stalking. It's about torturing. It's about uh, imprisonment, false imprisonment. It's about rape. It's about murder. But not only, um, you know, not only about murder and rape, it's about, um, it's about torturous murder and torturous rape. It's about torture, inflicting pain over and over and over and over and over and over and over. So the community targeting program is a satanic practice. So having the community targeting program in our society is evidence of satanic infiltration. Now, I, um, I tweeted a link about, um, about uh, some Masonic symbols in front of the, the headquarters of the Toronto police downtown. And um, it's very interesting that um, we have a police person 
um, with a trowel in her hand or his hand, could be both, it could be a man or a woman, not quite sure, um, building this pyramid. And the pyramid is, uh, is a Masonic symbol and it represents top-down power. The power is at the top and, uh, and compartmentalization of our society. But the, 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 the entity at the top is looking down and knows everything, but each compartment only knows what is in that compartment, like a beehive, basically. So the queen bee knows everything. So the all-seeing eye knows everything. Symbolism, my interpretation of it. So um, to me, that is uh, contrary to a democratic society as to why we have a symbol in front of a Tor Toronto police force depicting um, building a society based on the power at the top in a democratic society where we vote the power in, the majority rules, um, I don't understand. So there is a direct link between our Tor Toronto police force and the, Mason and the Freemasonry practices, which is contrary to, um, you know, equal opportunity for ma male and female, because women are not allowed in uh, the practice of Freemasonry. So uh, that is just one of the many examples where it goes contrary to a free and equal society, a social democracy that we are supposed to be living in. Infiltration. Uh, this is infiltration of um, ideas, of practices, of agendas that goes contrary to our democratic society. It goes contrary to the idea that women are equal to men. Because if you have people in a, in a secret society that excludes women, then it sends the message that women are not equal to men contrary to our social democracy. So um, is there a link? There are links, like I, I said, um, you know, like any other group, satanic uh, influences can inf infiltrate any other group, the Masons, whatever other group there are out there. I don't belong to a group. I don't belong, I don't, um, I don't believe in, um, in uh, the group mentality. I am sort of an independent thinker. So, uh, because I, I just, uh, I question just about everything. So, um, you know, group thinking is not for me. But uh, you, you, I have to, uh, and other people should do the same. You have to be um, aware of uh, the infiltration of our system by various groups with different agendas that are different than the one that we voted in. I mean, we vote a party in with certain ideas and certain agendas that we want as a majority. And if that system is infiltrated by a group that has different ideas and different opinions and are working behind the scenes to get it done, then that's corruption, that's infiltration. Now, as I said, the majority of the, the people in the world are <laughs> and not satanic. So community targeting should not be practiced because Satan wants everybody. Satan doesn't stop at a thousand target or a million target or a billion target. Satan wants the world. So community targeting should not be practiced by anybody because eventually everybody is going to be in the same position that the target that people are targeting, that are taking part in the targeting, you're going to be in the same place as the person you're focusing on at the moment to bring down and degrade and dehumanize. In other words, you're going to be a target eventually. 
because it is satanic based and Satan wants everybody. Now, you know, um, there are different, uh, just to switch um, topics here, um, there is an ongoing push from this building to have me removed. People are saying that they're scared of me because uh, experiments are being run because there's this file that's floating around that I'm being harassed about uh, that has the, cum the cumulative um, effects of, supposed effects of all the experiments that all the um, informants ha has, has run in the, in the past. So the, so the present informant can piggyback. So keep in mind I'm being made common and everybody has to take a turn and that's globally. Everybody globally has to take a turn because this is remote. I'm accessed remotely, I heard. A link and a password. So, um, you know, this is, uh, this is uh, to make one person common and, make, and set the example and I lost my train of th my train of thought there, but let's go into another um, another idea. Um, this is to make me an example globally by satanic forces running the community targeting program to show the world that this system is meant for everybody. And by now, I'm I'm sure people know this. It's pretty evident. Um, okay, so look back to the, the thought that I was trying to make um, before I got segued out here. Um, uh, there is a push in the building to make me look like um, mentally ill and uh, I'm dangerous. And because of that file that's, that's, uh, been, that is uh, transferred around. Because the people who are running the experiments are letting the public know that they are running experiments and they know what the outcome should be, what they want. So the outcome of the community targeting program is to make you angry and to make you sick, physically sick, mentally uh, slow, uh, because they're using, are using remote technologies to have these effects. So the idea of fear is floating around out there because they know what they're doing and they know what effects the technology can have on the person. So they're scared. So here is my response to that. I also know the technology that's being used from my research. I also know um, that the effects of these technologies can be countered if you shield yourself uh, there are different ways of countering the effects. So um, the expected results of the experiments that's being carried out does not come to fruition in my case because awareness itself neutralizes the effects, neutralizes the outcome, the expected outcome. In other words, if a target is smart enough, they can outsmart the perps because some of these experiments are really, really, really silly. Some of them are excruciatingly painful, especially when all kinds of technologies are being used, different technologies, different methods of using the technologies. And depending on who the, who the person is, who's coordinating the experiments. If you get a really cruel person, a Sharia practicing Muslim, for instance, who has, who has um, a right to take a turn in the satanic agenda of community targeting, then the person could kill you or he can arrange that you be physically raped because that's what his culture teaches. And this community targeting program gives everybody a turn. So if you have a Sharia Muslim man running the experiments, then he will, he will arrange for you to be physically raped. This is what's being practiced right now under the community targeting program. This is what makes it satanic. So is our government infiltrated by Satanism? Well, one connection to that, one possible connection to that is the connection to the Masonic agenda. Again, I'm sure not all Masons are satanic, 
absolutely positive that not all Masons are satanic, but definitely infiltrated from my research. Systemic failures in our, our system, in our democratic system, is not enough explanation for what happened in Paul Bernardo's case and Carla Hamalka's. It's more than that. Talk to you another time.